Last time on Doki Doki Tropical Rain. Hey, Monica. What's up? Uh, Monica. Three, two, one. Monica, I need to get something off my chest. What's the matter, hon? You know you can tell me anything. Take your time, okay? Oh, dang it, stop that. Monica, I think we need to break it off. The world went silent. Wait, you... You don't need, like... Like, breaking up, do you? He took a deep breath. Yes, Monica, I do. What? Why? Oh, I can hear the Monica fans are coming right after my... After my ass right now, but still... Please don't crucify me or torture me or whatever, but still... I am so sorry! Can you at least tell me why? Or you just wanna... Cut us off? I'm not in love with you. You like me, but you don't love me? Not it. Hey, and you're breaking up with me because you're not happy? Not in love with me? Am I getting all this? Yeah. Uh. Well... Monique, she put her hand on. Just give me a little while, okay? I nodded. Alright. She sighed. I'm just gonna go home for today. Goodbye, Finn. It was fun for a while. <laughs>
But I, all of what I said was true. I could have been lighter on the delivery, yeah. I was blunt, maybe too... No. I could have been lighter about this. If there was one time in my life I needed to grow a spine and say it like it was, then it was then. My point would have been null and void if I had stuttered the entire time. Monica is... Heck, she'll be fine. She's strong. She has good willpower and knows how to handle emotions. She'll get over it soon, I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it, but still. She was on the debate team. Keeping cool is kind of what they do. She'll be okay. She's probably reveling in my absence anyway. I wasn't exactly good for her social status. Uh, Though, one part of all of this that still rubbed me the wrong way. Or maybe it was the right way. Yuri. The girl I told Monica I loved. Oh? Oh. Okay, it's a... This is definitely a Yuri mod. I'm just saying, I'm playing along. But the reason I question this is... Do I really love Yuri? Or was I just lying to her so we could move on from the topic? I thought back on all the time I spent... Of all, of all, on all of my time spent with the purple hair beauty. The reading, the chocolates, the decoration making, the chat we had about our knife collection. The festival. After the festival. Our lunch in the library, me calling her cute. And uh, how I began... Avoiding her. Crap. Crap! No. Glob, no. I made a terrible mistake. I put a hand on my forehead. I, I began avoiding her because I was confused. I began to avoid the lonely, self-conscious, anxious, shy girl. Smart moves, Finn. I fell onto my bed, feeling pure devastation consume me. That was probably two relationships now that I screwed up. But, and what else did I even have aside from those two? Natsuki hates me. The insults make that pretty clear. Well, not technically. I mean, sure, she can be salty on the outside, but on the inside, she likes me. Kind of, but still, it's it's just pure sundere thingamajig, you know. And Sayori? Well... Dang it, I've been ignoring Sayori too. Even if unintentional. Well, yeah, as much as I friggin' love the cinnamon bun, we've been ignoring her for this mod though, which is uh, disappointing. But still, it's a, it's a Yuri mod, but I'll have to play along. And she was feeling especially down in the week before the festival. I should really check up. Nope. Sayori is not who I needed to be worrying about. As far as I was concerned, we were still friends. I needed to focus on Yuri. Why you are I. Me and Sayori have always been friends. She's fine. Of course she was. What I didn't know was if Yuri was fine. I sat up and pulled out my phone. I needed to give her a call. I just needed to make sure. And, well, I needed to own up. I needed to apologize. I turned on the phone, but cringed when I saw the battery life. 9%. I could make the call, but I had to make it quick. I pressed the phone app and scrolled to my contacts list. Dad, Monica, Sayori, and Yuri. I need more friends. I hit the call button and put the phone to my ear. I looked around my bedroom as I waited for her to pick up. I looked at the clock on my wall. 10.26. I pulled the phone from my ear and quickly hung up the call. She was still in class. Hopefully, she had decided to leave her phone in her locker. I groaned and fell onto my bed. Shortly after, I lazily plugged my phone in. Might as well let the dang thing charge. I'm not gonna be calling her for a while. I rolled over and stared at my ceiling. Uh, how could I approach this? I needed to see if Yuri was okay, that was the first step. And not only that, also to apologize and explain why MC or I was avoiding her, 
and hopefully things are are a okay now. And plus, I have feelings for her, at least in this mod. The only issue was that she was in class. I can probably call her at lunch, uh, or I could just walk over there at lunch. Yeah, yeah. It'll mean a lot more if I say it to her face. Plus, she couldn't get angry and hang up on me. Of course. Surely. Surely this couldn't backfire horribly. And surely that wasn't any kind of foreshadowing. Lunch is at 11.30. I have about an hour. What can I do until then, though? Girl. I never ate breakfast. I guess I know what to do. I got off the bed, walked out of my room, and walked down into the kitchen. I should invite Sayori over. She enjoys breakfast, and I'm sure she would. She's also in class. <gasps> Glob, dang it. I open up my fridge. Well, I guess it's just myself then, then. <laughs> uh. And I am completely out of food. I groaned. The day is just not my day. I pulled over a notepad and wrote down a list of groceries. Bacon, eggs, bread, mustard, deli meat. Good lord. I tore off the page and grabbed my jacket. I wanted to pass the time. Not pass the time with chores. Well, I had no choice, man. Ooh, this is cool and nice. Why on earth is bacon so cheap? 362 yen, and I think I assume that might be... I don't know, $3.62? Again, I am not sure with the, with the conversion here. And for that much bacon? I tossed it in my basket. When I had everything I needed, I went and checked out. There was no small talk, which I, which I was thankful for. I consider myself extroverted, but I cannot stand forced conversations. Shortly after paying, I left the store, bags in hand. And I was back home. I walked into the kitchen and put the groceries on the counter. First, a good breakfast. I grabbed a pan from the cupboard. Then, I go talk to Yuri. Easy as pie. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> Lemon easy. I don't know anymore. Surely. Ah. Uh, after cooking my breakfast, I sat down at my table and began to eat. This breakfast would be better with Sayori here. <laughs> ah yes, breakfast with the cinnamon bun. That would be very, very nice. But unfortunately, she has class, so nope, it's just me. I really need to invite her over more often. Even if we drifted there for a while, she's still my best friend. Uh, forgot the ketchup. And eat eggs without ketchup. I set down my fork and wiped my face with a napkin. My cooking skill only seems to be improving. Of course, cause my bro Jake taught me how to cook, so... It uh, looks like I'm getting better and better by myself. I checked the time. I wonder how long I had until I had to go. 11.50. Crap! I stood up quickly and put my dishes into the sink. 15 minutes until lunch was out. I needed to get moving. I quickly rushed outside and began to run. I didn't know how long it took to actually get to school. But it can't be late. Why not just do this another time? Because I'm gonna lose my nerve, dang it! I stopped thinking and began to sprint faster. It's now and never, I'd say. Okay. I breathe heavily as I slow down. I'm here. I violently coughed. <laughs> Let's do this. I slowly walked inside. I needed to go to the library. Hopefully Yuri's there. Dang it, has it always been this far away? Feels like I've been walking for hours. When I finally arrived at the door, I stopped. I ran a hand through my hair and took a deep breath. Come on. Got this. I opened the door and spotted a purple-haired girl sitting at the table. Oh, hello, Yuri. I assume you're just... Well, 
either taking a nap or, of course, reading a book, as always, because you're the bookworm. It's time. No more wimping out, Finn. I walked up to her and sat down at the table. Yuri looked up from her book and her eyes widened. Finn? Hey, Yuri. Uh... How are you? I'm fine. I scratched my head. Uh, look, can we just go outside for a second? I don't really think. Just come on. I said and stood up. Please? I... Alright. I'll humor you, Finn. She stood up from her seat. Lead the way. I grabbed her, har her arm and began to pull her along. Finn, c calm down. I slowed down. S sorry, but this is kind of urgent. You'll understand in a minute. Okay? Sorry to be mysterious, Yuri. <laughs> mysterious as her as well. Now we were alone in the hallway. Let's do this. Yuri. I said and steeled my nerves. Yes? I... Uh... I want to apologize. Oh, well, thank you. But why are you exactly... Why exactly are you apologizing? Nothing you have done recently has been worthy of an apology, I'm sure. Dang it, Yuri. Yuri, I... I messed up. Okay? I screwed up bad, and I don't want you to just ignore it. Ignore it? But what are you... Yuri, please. I know that you don't want... don't like to see the bad in people. But you should for me, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry! I'm sorry for being a bad friend. I'm sorry for ignoring you. I'm sorry for leaving you alone like that. Please, I... I felt my eyes water. Don't hate me. Club, dang it, of all the times to start crying. I just didn't mean to, for all of this to happen. I just want us to be friends again. Finn. She walked up to me and tilted my chin up. I could never hate you. You're one of my best friends. And the fact that you apologized, it means more to me than you could ever know. I smiled lightly. But I do have one question. Yes? What is it? Um, why? Why did you do what you did? The million dollar question. Well, I... That's a little hard to explain, Yuri. I have all the time in the world, Finn. Uh, I at least owe you that, huh? Bring. Dang it. Fuck you, school bell. Just let me tell- just tell me later, okay? No. I need to say it now. Look, Yuri. The reason I was ignoring you like that. A bunch of students began to walk through the halls. I was dating Monica and I was confused. Okay? I was confused because- because I was having thoughts about you. Thoughts? Yes. Good thoughts. Things about you that I shouldn't have thought about when I was with Monica. And that wasn't right, right? So I tried to distance myself. That was me ignoring you. And that was such a mistake. Yuri, that was one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made. I forgive you, but why me? Why were you thinking about me? Here goes. Because I love. I cleared my throat. Because I wanted to date you. Okay. Uh, the world went silent. Yuri? You wanted to date me. I, uh, I have to go. I'll see you later. Uh, oh no. I just screwed up everything up again, didn't I? Dang it, dang it. Dang it, not again. I slammed my fist into the wall. Frick. I was so confident about it, and for what? Why did I just say that? Of course she doesn't like me like that. She could never like me like that. I slammed a fist into my head and chopped off. 
I just needed to be alone. And I needed out of this school. Well, you did mess up back there, but still. You'll, you're definitely going to um, have to wait until she said yes or no, but still. Yuri walked through the halls, grasping at her skirt. He likes me. He likes me. Bathroom. She needed to... Bring. No, no. That's the second bell. She squealed lightly. She needed to get to class. She can't... She can't risk messing up her attendance record. She can... She can handle it for a class period, right? Control your emotions the normal way, Yuri. She, she exhaled deeply and pushed open the door to her class. She walked over to her desk and sat down. Just focus on the lesson. She said to herself, gripping her skirt tighter. As the teacher droned on, she only got more and more uncomfortable. I can't do this. Distracting herself wasn't working. She trembled. <sighs> Just, why is... Finn loves you. But why? Well, I, I, I guess that's what he's trying to say before the rang bell. Because f*** <laughs> you, school bell, for ruining the moment. Uh, I swear with these anime logics, man. <laughs> Always ruining anything, everything. Sheesh. Why someone like you? She began to breathe heavily. He has to be messing with you. He has to be lying. He could never love someone like you. Someone who can't even go 15 minutes without feeling the need to destroy your body. She gripped her wrists. Someone who can't have a serious discussion without needing a superficial way to control themselves. She began to scratch at them. Someone who messes with the beautiful vessel they were gifted. She can't breathe. She began to scratch harder, the bandages under her blazer feeling like a barrier. A barrier blocking from sweet blocking her from sweet relief. Why? She was shaking violently. People were looking. Everyone was judging. Why? Why does he do this? What poor taste. It's so painfully obvious. Forget not loving someone like you. He could never love you. Yuri gasped suddenly. He doesn't know. Uh, he doesn't know. She slowly stopped cr scratching. She felt like she had surfaced. Surfaced after being... Have, after having been drowning for so, so long. Finn doesn't know. She felt like she could cry tears of joy. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He's... He's not messing with her. It's not some sick joke. He... He must actually love her. And if he does, he... He loves you for you. She giggled to herself. What was she worrying about? She laughed. Finn would never make that sort of joke. Of course not. I'm, I'm always serious. He's too much of a sweetheart to do that. <laughs> like I said, of course, I would never lie. She blinked and wiped her eyes. And also snitch. I don't snitch. Could she really have a chance with him? Would be nice. Though she would have to keep this sort of thing a secret. Uh, that shouldn't be too bad, right? She kept it a secret this long. I'll only t it'll just take a few long, long sleeve shirts here and there. Yeah, everything, everything's gonna be okay. Today it was a little bit of a hiccup, but it'll be smooth sailing from here on out. In even if she kind of ran away back here, back there. Oh no, that's right. He probably thinks I hate him. She stopped her train of thought. I don't hate you, Yuri. No, quit overthinking this. Finn doesn't hate her. And if, if he really loved her, he wouldn't begin hating her over something like that. It's gonna be okay. All you have to do. She took a deep breath, closed her eyes, and smiled. Is go and tell him that you accept his confession. Uh, her eyes snapped open. 
Hmm. I sat at my kitchen table eating a bowl of noodles. I didn't want to bother cooking anything after today. It was a bit of a disappointment. Though, after giving it some thought, not all hope was lost. Yuri... Yuri is socially anxious. She very well could have just freaked out and run away because she didn't know how to react. So, I have two options. She hates me, or she just freaked out and ran away. Uh, well, I'm hoping it's that second thing. Yes, because she doesn't hate me. I really am. Yuri hating me is probably my worst nightmare. I stopped eating and chuckled the remaining noodles in the trash. Thinking about all of that ruined any semblance of hunger I may have had. Well, what a waste, honestly. Urgh. I scratched my head rapidly. I need to give Yuri a call or something. Either that or talk to her tomorrow. <sighs> no, club oh, dang it, today is Friday. If I want to talk to her tomorrow, it's going to be over the phone anyway. Might as well get it over with now. It's been a few hours. I doubt she's going to be pissed off if I call. I doubt she's going to be pissed off either way, but I don't know how her emotions work. Yuri is a complicated girl. I muttered and grabbed my phone. Here goes nothing. I unlocked my phone and scrolled to her contact. Yuri walked up to Finn's door, hand over her heart. She hoped she wasn't making some kind of mistake. Oh, is she approaching my house? I pressed call and put the phone to my ear. I began to hear ringing though, and it wasn't from my end. Ah. Her phone began to ring, scaring her. Sounds like it's coming from outside. Sheesh, that's a strong ass vibration right there, and not in that way, as in the call. Don't get any funny ideas. <laughs> already know I said that uh, repetitive times, but I don't care. I stood and hung up the phone. What is that? I walked over to my front door. I can call Yuri in a second. This has just caught my attention. I opened up the door and looked outside. The ringing stopped. Huh. She took a deep breath, trying to calm her frayed nerves. Okay, okay, we can do this. She walked up to the front door and put her hand out. And, but as she did it, it suddenly opened. Ah, uh, Yuri? Oh, well, that's not really what I expected. Well, what are, what are you doing here? I raised an eyebrow. I generally didn't expect her. A burglar was higher up than my, on my list than Yuri. <laughs> wow. Probably because I was just about to call her. Well, I, uh, I was just, you know, in the, in the neighborhood. Uh, Yuri, you seem a little tense. Granted, I was too. I was just way better at hiding it. She sighed. I wasn't just in the neighborhood. She turned her head. I came because I had something I needed to say. Something important. I'm all ears. I said skeptically. She's not here just to tell me she hates me and is moving schools, is she? I felt my heart sink. No, that couldn't be it, right? She was smiling. It has to be good news or something, yeah? I braced myself for what was to come. I... Um... Please just spit it out. I accept, Finn. Huh? Accept what? Dang it. She muttered something to herself and audibly exhaled. I accept your confession. Uh... Confession? You mean like... Like I was talking about earlier? At school, my voice re reached an octave I could have thought possible as the fireworks exploded in my head. There's no way. She can't. She can't be. She has to be messing with me. She's not. Yes, Finn. I mean, I accept your romantic confession. 
Holy sh! She wasn't kidding, and she doesn't hate me. I felt I could cry tears of joy. Well, we got Yuri. Woo! We got him. We got her, fellow knights. S so, would you, uh, maybe, um. I chuckled. Yuri, will you be my girlfriend? She smiled. That would be lovely. I. I did it. I really did it. Really? We really did! <laughs> I got Yuri to be my girlfriend. I got what many consider unachievable. I got the cutest, sweetest, nicest girl in school to agree to go out with me. I felt I could, I could jump for joy. I won. I won the game. I can only go up from here. So Finn, may I enter your humble abode? I would have chuckled, but knowing Yuri, that was a part of her vernacular. Of course. She stepped out of her way and she walked inside. Uh... Wow, it smells so good in here. Is that coconut? Yeah. I said and turned to face her. I lit one of my dad's candles. He's always been a fan of it. Well, I really like it. So if you have more, uh... Please. Huh? She seemed to lose all of her nerve in the middle of the sentence. Use them? Yuri, you are one strange girl. Sorry, I don't want you to think you have to or anything. I was just... Hey, it's okay. I said and put a hand up. I can light those candles all day long if it'll make you happy. I smiled at her. She blushed and turned away. Thank you. Smooth one, Finn. Hehe. <laughs> uh... Man, she's cute. I mean, she is. I mean, look at that face and that smile. I really struck gold here. Uh... Woohoo! Yeah! Oh. I am not entirely sure whose bedroom is this. It's not fair. It's not fair. They were talking in the hall. Probably making date plans. Would make sense. As soon as Finn broke up with me, he went to Yuri. Oh, and I guess we're in Monica's uh, part, or POV rather. Uh, poor Monica. Again, Monica fans, I'm really, really sorry. He did say he loved her, but it... He took the day off, yet came in anyway just to see her. He never did that for me. Of course he didn't, because he... He never loved me. She put a hand to her eyes as they began to cloud up. No, no. Get over yourself. She was mature about it. He had what he had to do. Just move on. Move on already, dang it. Forget about him. Forget about his personality. Forget about his interests. Forget about his smile. His haircut that he combed for you. Dang it. Why? Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard? So hard to just forget. So hard to just move on. He never loved you. She began to bawl. None of it meant anything to him. And he forgot about you practically instantly. She put her head in her hands as she began to frantically wipe her eyes. He's not worth the tears. But no matter how hard she tried, she just couldn't stop. She put her hand on the wilting petals of a peony. She held on to them. Of course she did. Oh yeah, the, the flowers I bought for her. Ouch. But why? She doesn't know why. Uh. Knock knock. Monica poked her head out of her hands. He, yeah? Are you alright, sweetheart? She looked down at the carpeted floor. No, Papa. 
Oh, so that was her father. Chapter 5, Mistletoe. Oh, ho, 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 Christmas here? Well then. I had been dating Yuri for exactly a week. It's December now, the 19th, so Christmas is nearing. Hey, Christmas! Even though it's not Christmas right now, but still, doesn't matter. Well then. Guess I'll have to um, think how this will go in the next one, and maybe a present perhaps? Who knows?